Hey everybody, Jamie here, Nomadic Rev. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. And um, I just wanna talk for a little bit today about some thoughts that I'm having about my van as camping season is here and some of the things that I've learned in having this van for, uh, I think it's been about a year now maybe. Um, and just some of my thought process for those of you maybe who are uh, looking at building your own camper van. I know I get a lot of comments on my channel from people who are at the beginning stage of of buying and building out a minivan camper van especially. Um, so here's some of the things that I've been learning and I don't want this video to go on forever, but I'm gonna just show you kind of my thought process with some of this stuff. So the first thing that I will say that I really want to update is my window coverings. So as you can tell um, right now, when I originally made these, I actually had fabric um, on both sides. And I have a video here on my channel. You can go check out just how I made them. The glue wore off over time and actually the glue is actually wearing off on this side as well. Um, and it needs to be redone. I need a better solution than that. I, I don't like the glue option. I'm actually thinking about doing something similar to another YouTuber I saw. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. I think she, hers is tiny camper van or something like that. She has a minivan. So I'm thinking about trying to reinforce these um, with something and then putting like either like sewing something together. So it's just so they stay together. The, the actual reflectix holds up very well. I mean, I pull these down and put them up and move them around and, and they're in place. So they're not going anywhere. But when you're in here aesthetically, um, it's not great to look at. So that's one of the things that I'm gonna update. The other thing that I'll tell you is, if you've seen my other videos, you may have noticed that um, my lights are gone. So I had bought some rechargeable uh, lights and I strung them up on the actual coat hangers here. Um, and so <laughs> uh, it, they worked pretty good. I had to put a couple of these, I don't know if you can see them on the video, I put a couple clips in there to hold them into place as well um and that they they worked okay but i again i didn't like the way that it looked so what i'm trying to do what i realized that i need to do is i'm trying to make this less of a bachelor's pad <laughs> i want it to be a little bit i want to just kind of upgrade the feel of it um which leads to my bed so i have my platform bed in here um, when I built this platform, I actually, originally it's two parts. So if you watch my other video where I built my bed, it's two parts. And, um, I never put the, any hinges on it. The main reason was what other people have done is, um, I think they call them a piano hinge or something. Um, I looked at them and I, I never bought one because I felt like the, my build, because I don't have great carpentry skills, it didn't line up very well. It wasn't flush. And I was worried that for as much as those hinges cost, they're not cheap, that it wasn't going to work. So somehow I still want to get that figured out. That's one of the other things on my to-do list is I want to get it figured out how to put hinges on here so that I can fold this up into a couch um, when I am not using it as a bed. I love the bed, I love laying in here, um, but if I'm just hanging out in here again, it's just a little bit too small when the bed is set up. So that would be a way to um, create more room. So let me talk about um, what I do like right now and I'll move the camera angle to show you. All right, again, in some of my other videos, I've showed you the storage bin that I bought, and it fits well here sideways behind my back seat. Um, it fits within the bed. Even this room space is nice. It's nice to be able to, you know, be able to access, access, access <laughs> everything um, within there. 
um, quickly. And then I, some of you have asked about this top that I have. It's just an oversized um, cutting board that's attached with these clamps. So that gives you a visual. And I'm going to, I have this TV right now, which I'll talk about as well. Okay, so a couple of things that I like about this and then a couple of things that I really do want to change. So first of all, I like having the drawers accessible. I have stuff underneath my bed. Um, that's less convenient because obviously you got to lift the mattress up and dig around in there. That'll help, you know, upgrading my bed as well. But especially things that I would use like all the time, having that in here is nice. The other thing I really like is having a tabletop. Um, I do have a couple different portable tables. Um, one's an old rickety TV stand that doesn't work great. Um, and then I have another larger one that's portable and the legs go up and down. It's a little bit better, but again, it's not great. One of the things that I realize that you can do when you're building out a camper van is you can use real furniture. And so um, what I'm contemplating is actually filling, if, if I fix my bed and it, I can fold it up into a couch, I'm contemplating filling this whole spot now with like a dresser or some sort of cabinetry because I would actually love more counter space in here. The other thing is that would also provide more storage underneath. Now, obviously the challenge is gonna be there's no floor room once the bed's out, which isn't the end of the world if you're just sleeping. So if I can fold this up and get out of the way, um, that would be really, really nice. So that's one of the other things that I'm thinking about updating. It all depends on getting my bed updated. So um, the other thing is it'd be nice to have something what, that didn't require these clamps to keep it in place. This, this works well. Again, back to my bachelor pad comment. Um, if what I'm finding is that you, when you start to do a, a van build, you realize like there's a couple of key pieces that you need, right? And one of those key pieces is a bed. I think that's probably priority number one, right? That's why you have a camper van. So you have something to sleep in. My bed's great. It's very comfortable. I like the larger size more than my cot because I move around in the night. The second thing is storage. Um, and connected with that is some sort of tabletop because if it's not grayed out and you have to be inside, it's nice to have something for work like me, like I can work remote. It's nice to have something to cook on. Um, if you're doing meal preps, I can't do a lot of meal preps in the van right now because of this, the size of this. So that's kind of the next, I think, important thing. And then obviously when you're, if you have a dresser or some sort of cabinet, um, you're able to have storage underneath then, which is, which to me is really, really nice because then you, if you have like a TV, like I have on one corner, you have still all of the other counter work as well. And, um, which is going to lead to my next thing, the entertainment piece. So let me, let me change positions. All right. Okay. So let me just say that um one i like the low one i like the location of this tv or whatever you're gonna have um having it kind of over to the side in the corner when you're laying in bed it's nice i don't remember how big this is maybe 19 inches um so it's, it's a decent size but it has a drawback and this is what i want to tell you about at least the way that i'm building out my van I bring a laptop with me all the time. It's in here right now in front. I got this TV at a garage sale for like five bucks because I thought, oh, it'll be cool to have in the van. And where I'm at in the in the Minnesota, Minneapolis area, I can pick up like 30 plus channels for free with just some rabbit ears, which is great. But I don't like carrying two screens you know what i mean i don't like having the laptop and this especially because right now like i have this you know latch down to here so it's always here i like the the flexibility that's the big word i want to use in my videos i like the flexibility of 
using this space for different things. So in the mornings, if I record one of my inspirational videos, I use this with my laptop and I um, put my tripod up there. When I, I feel like when I have the TV here, it's just always here and I don't like that because especially with a limited amount of space, it doesn't really work well for me. Um, which leads me to my last thing that I'll say about, at least for me, if you're thinking about um, building a van and what you should do, left that down and that one. When I was trying to figure out what to do about a power source, I thought about it for a long time. Should I do solar panels and batteries or should I do a Jackery? So um, I chose to do a Jackery. <clears throat> so I have a, what's this called? Explorer 300. It's not the smallest, it's not the biz biggest, it's a mid-range. It's got the two 110 volts. It has some USBs. It's got the charger and the 12 volt, 12 volt. Um, and I really, really like this. This allows you to just carry this with you. Um, I don't have a solar panel yet. My plan is to buy one of their solar panels actually that folds up because I like, the, the name of my channel has the word nomadic in it. I like nomadic. So I guess my ideal camper van would be comfortable but also very convenient, if that makes sense. So as I've been spending more time in here now with the weather changing, I'm realizing there's a lot of things that I wanna to change to make this more comfortable and convenient. And so some of the things that I've tried, um, I just don't, they don't work for me. Um, I've already ordered some new things on Amazon uh, that I'll be showing you guys here in future videos um, that are, Comf make it comfortable and so if you're l thinking about building a van what my recommendation would be to you is just start with something even if you just buy an old minivan and you go camping with it you know with no with nothing in the back you're going to notice how much more comfortable it is than a tent and then as you kind of come up with ideas and you do different builds you can experiment and because you're not spending a lot of money you can adapt and change as you go um, a couple of the things that I recommended in this video, I think are going to greatly enhance my camping van experience. So those are some of my thoughts. If you have some thoughts or suggestions or ideas, um, I would love it if you left them in the comments below because um, people really do um, like to engage and, and give feedback. And I always appreciate feedback. Um, and so I'll be sharing some more videos in the future just about some of the changes that I'm making. So make sure you're subscribed and you have the notification bell activated so you know when I upload. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.